Yet despite this overwhelming force, it is Jesus who remains in control. The narrator notes in verse 4 that he knew, quote, all that was going to happen to him, unquote. Jesus takes the initiative, asking the crowd who they're looking for. And when they respond, Jesus of Nazareth, he responds, I am he, ego a me. As elsewhere in John, the phrase ego a me could be translated simply as it's me. But it also recalls God's self-identification of himself as the great I am. See especially John 8, 58, where Jesus almost certainly uses the title in this sense. John seems to apply this illusion here when in verse 6 he notes, when Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. The overwhelming response by the crowd suggests that this is a theophany. A theophany is an appearance or manifestation of God to human beings, resulting in fear or awe. So although Jesus is the one being hunted down and arrested, he is presented as the one in charge, directing events. He gives commands, telling the mob to let the disciples go free, in verse 8, and ordering Peter to put away his sword, in verse 11. Only John, by the way, identifies Peter as the disciple who drew the sword, and Malchus as the name of the high priest's servant who was struck. These are likely eyewitness details added by John himself. The point is that although from a human perspective, Jesus' ministry is unraveling, in fact, everything is going according to plan. <laughs>